Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we are talking about screen resolutions and especially when using a big screen uh, there are things that you might want to change if you find that things are either too big or often the most um, the, the comment I see the most is things are way too small when you use a smart TV for example that might be 50 or 60 inch and uh, people complain that things are too small and they can't really use a PC on their TV because it's it's just unreadable. And there's no reason for that because usually Windows will adapt to whatever screen that you plug in. So in Windows 11, the screen settings are in a similar place in Windows 10, but they are, of course, different because there's a different way that the settings app is actually constructed. So um, right click on the desktop. You will still have display settings available in Windows 11. And in here, you will go into what you have as all sorts of settings on your uh, computer that has to do with the screen. One is, of course, the display resolution. Once again, there is a recommended display resolution. In general, Windows will choose it automatically. It um, rarely happens that the setting for the resolution isn't already correct. In Windows 11, compared to Windows 10, one of the things that's changed is in Windows 10, they give you a screen resolution, and they give you a list of screen resolutions. But in Windows 11, they do have the recommended word next to the screen resolution. So you can choose your screen resolution, and I do recommend to keep your screen resolution at the recommended settings unless uh, you want to degrade. If you go in a lower screen resolution because things look bigger, you also are losing the quality and precision. Your screen is meant to be for a specific resolution to have the best sharpness possible. Instead, what you'll want to do is keep the resolution, and like I was saying in Windows 10, change the scale or the zoom size of that resolution. Here, in that scale, you will also have a recommended setting. Notice that mine is at 125 rather than 100, and the reason for that is because I'm making videos. If I put it at 100, to use it's fine. To make videos, things are way too small for you guys to see. And that's why I changed it to 125, even sometimes on some videos, I'll change it to 150 to really make things big enough so it's easy for you guys to see in the video what I'm actually talking about. But if I would not be doing that, just using the PC, I would be using the recommended settings of 100% so that everything fits. Especially here, this is not a small screen. But if I plug a second screen, I will have different resolutions show up. I will have also different settings show up. So this applies to every screen that you use, including external screens. And each display will have its own resolutions also. So it's very important to know that. So play with the scale, but try to keep the display resolution at the same uh, resolution that is recommended by Windows in Windows 11 to have the best sharpness possible. And then if you do change the scale, remember that it changes not only the in letters, the screen, the text. It also makes your taskbar bigger. Everything becomes bigger when you actually zoom in. So that could be something for some of you that is useful. And there's no harm in playing with the um, zooming if you have some disability and have a hard time seeing the screen. Just zoom it in um, you know, to a higher um, percentage to make things even bigger and easier to see. Remember, once again, this will affect apps. This will affect things on the screen. Sometimes menus that require you to click the OK button might actually be off screen. Uh, some apps might have weird text or the text might not show up correctly when you do zoom. Uh, not every app is made to use that capability correctly, but at least if, you think, if things are too small, it's still going to help uh, in uh, you know, general use of your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.